of China, Japan, and Romania. It's a field that will impress the audience here. They hope to impress the international audience, along with the International Olympic Committee and representatives of its member countries. With us here in Rome, tremendous name in gymnastics, our very own Kurt Thomas. Kurt, what about the men competing? Well, we're going to see some tremendous performances from the men because we have Bogdan Makuts. He was second in the last World Championships, 25 one thousandths behind Korolev, his teammate. We also have Tung Fei, the number one Chinese gymnast. He was third in the last World Championships. And then we have also Gushiken, who is the number one Japanese gymnast. So I tell you, it's going to be a battle between those three. And I'm excited to see that these countries have sent their best gymnasts. In other words, you want to pick a winner? I think Tong Fei. He looks really good in the warm-ups, and he's my favorite. Okay, Kurt. With us also here in Rome, a winner, our own precious expert, Kathy Rigby. Kathy, will the women impress the audience? Oh, Chris, I'm very confident the women will impress those international audiences, including Elena Davidova from the Soviet Union, current Olympic champion. Now, we haven't seen Elena too much in practice. She's been sitting watching the other gymnasts work out, so this could mean she's either very confident or not in shape and resting a little bit. Her biggest competition may come from Bulgaria's Zoya Grancharova. She has looked tremendous in, in recent international competitions. And also from Romania, uh, hopeful to Romania to succeed, uh, Nadia Comaneci is Christina Gregoras. So it will be a very interesting competition and, like Kurt says, tough. Okay, Kurt, uh, here at the Palace, we're ready for the men's competition. We're looking at Roland Bruckner of East Germany. And this is the first of six rotations. Individual all-around competition where each man will compete in all six events to determine the all-around champion. 27-year-old, longtime competitor, Kurt. And a super competitor in this event. He mounts with a full end back out in a pike position, lays it out in the first one, pikes the second one, a little over-rotated there, but he saved it without going out of bounds. There's a runoff back handspring, pike one and three quarters. Now it'll work into his press to a handstand here. So far, Roland's working very well. There's a split showing flexibility. Now he'll press up to a handstand. He must hold this for two seconds. His third tumbling run. Round off, backhand spring. Pull, punch front one and a quarter. Very nice. Extremely good technical tumbler, too. He really gets good positions on the floor exercise and gets nice height. Now, that bell you hear is a warning at the 50-second mark. You have 50 to 70 seconds to perform your routine. Dismount to the double pike, fine routine. Massive Roland Bruckner of East Germany, a 27-year-old student, Olympic gold medal winner in the floor exercise. Let's take another look at his mount. He does a round off back handspring, full in, back out. Now watch this. He really gets his arms up and gets some really good height. Pulls it around, pike position, but he almost steps out of bounds here. Four judges looking on. The high and low scores thrown out. The average of the middle two, and it's a 9.65. A credible score for Roland Bruckner. 21-year-old Tong Fei of the People's Republic of China, ready to work on the pommel horse. Still in the first rotation, each competitor going through the different events as they rotate around the floor to complete all six, Kurt. And Chris, Tong Fei is really fun to watch on this event because look how high he swings above the pommels. Very difficult to swing that high because you have to push down, you have to be super strong. Working nicely so far. Very nice high scissors. Now he does a back more downhill, immediate back more uphill, travel to the end, preparing for his dismount, which is a loop, loop with a half. Fine routine for Tung Fei. Tung Fei from the People's Republic of China. Appreciative crowd here enjoying his performance as he leaves the area of the horse. You'll see that fellow competitors are congratulating him. They liked what he did. Spectators along with us are waiting for his mark on the horse. And there it is. It is a 9.7. And there is his trainer coach, Mr. Gian, keeping those uh, muscles loose on a young man that should be great in 1984 in Los Angeles. We'll be back after this. A 22-year-old Bogdan Makuts of the Soviet Union, silver medalist all around in the world's championships. Bogdan has probably the most difficult routine on this event. He does a lot of single pommel work, which is 
immediate work on one pommel. On his mounts, he does three back mores. Now watch. Does back more, back more, back more, and then a pommel circle on that pommel. Travels to the other pommel. Works very well on pommel horse. Breaks into his flare right here. Bring his legs together and travel up to the pommel. And break into his scissors. Reverse scissor, another reverse scissor. Now we'll do two front scissors. Doesn't swing quite as high as Tung Fei, but he has a lot more difficulty. Now going into his dismount, back more downhill, back more uphill, and a little strength there. They might hit him a couple of tenths for that. Makuts, the European champion in the vault and parallel bars, and a member of the gold medal winning team at the Moscow Olympic Games. Here's another look at that dismount. Now, I said he showed strength. That means he broke the continuity of the swing, and right here, he slowed down and went through the handstand position. And the 22-year-old Soviet student gets a 9.7. So after the first rotation here in Rome at the International Gymnastics Championships, the men's standings, a tie for first, Tong Fei and Makuts, Bruckner of East Germany third, and Gushkin of Japan fourth. We'll be back soon for more gymnastics as the women begin their competition. But now let's join my colleague, Bill Fleming. I'm Chris Schenkel along with Kurt Thomas and Kathy Rigby. We'll be looking at more men's and women's competition in a moment, but right now, a look at Rome. A city of history and tradition, and rich in its art treasures. At the Campidoglio, atop one of Rome's seven hills, there are the magnificent steps and statuary built by Michelangelo. The most recognizable monument to Rome's history is the 60,000-seat Colosseum. Just a few yards away are the remains of the Forum, the commercial, political, and religious center of ancient Rome. Many of Rome's historical landmarks serve as gathering places for citizens and tourists. There's the Piazza Novona, built on the ruins of an ancient Roman stadium with its magnificent Bernini statues. And there is the Baroque-style Trevi Fountain of Three Coins fame. It's a place where a young girl can make a wish and throw a coin. The Spanish Steps sit below another of Rome's seven hills. Artists, musicians, and people of all kinds gather at this the most popular of Rome's meeting places. But for some quiet moments, there is nothing quite like the banks of the River Tiber, which meanders through the center of this fantastic city with St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican always in view. And now we're ready for the women's competition. The ladies have been divided into two groups, and one started the competition before the other. And Kathy, this competition will be exciting. It should be exciting. The caliber of gymnastics is so high at this point. Like 19-year-old Chin Yong Yang of China in the vault. And she will do a handspring front with a half twist. Now, in the coat of points, that vault is worth a 9.8. And she did it very well. And for Chin Yong Yang, this was her first event in the competition. You'll see that she comes in very low on her pre-flight, which is important. She'll kick her heels way too up to the ceiling. Comes in low, kicks up high, makes the half twist. Legs separated slightly, but not bad at all. And for Chen Young Yang, it's a 9.55. And Chris, for the relatively short time the Chinese have been in gymnastics, they have shown great strength in this sport. And scheduled for next up in the uneven bars is Elena Davidova, but Kathy, she has her warm-up still on. Apparently, she's not going. Let's look back at her first event, the vault, and see if we can spot anything, Kathy. Well, Chris, there really wasn't anything to see. She did a full twist on and a full twist off, which was fairly flat. You can see here on her pre-flight, she didn't get a lot of height. Twist was good, feet slightly separated, but she had a bad landing. And that's a very jarring event, so you never can tell. And not a bad score, 9.75, but she's not going. So, with her out of the all-around competition, let's go to the next competitor from Romania, 16-year-old Christina Gagoras. Christina's very strong on this event. She starts out with a kip, double leg shoot through, and she has an interesting move in the middle of her routine called a reverse peck. Kip to the high bar now. Here it comes. 
to her handstand right here. Reverse heck. Whoops, she hit her foot on the bar, it looks like, and that caused an intermediate swing. She makes a half twist. It's going to cause her big deduction from those judges. She's moving fairly choppy at the moment, not as smooth as she should be. Right to a clear hip handstand. Giant swing, legs separated there. Little deduction there. And a comb in each just now. All right, Kathy, let's replay that performance and see if we can spot what caused the error. Well, on Christine's reverse heck, it looks as if she hit this handstand very well. Timing was good so far. She went up here, and she hit her foot on the bar, her right foot, and that caused the intermediate swing. She pulled too hard with one arm, causing her body to be crooked or off kilter slightly. She tries to regain her timing here, but it's hard after a dead stop. And for the talented Romanian Gregoris, it's a 9.40. Disappointing for Christina and her coach, Lisanovshi. We've just received word that Elena Davidova, the Soviet Union, has sustained a back injury and is out of the competition. We'll be back with more after this. The National Olympic Committee has been meeting all week long here in Rome. And watching the gymnastics competition, Juan Antonio Samaranch of Spain, the president of the IOC. Earlier I asked him about the preparations for the 1984 games in Sarajevo and Los Angeles. The games they are coming, they are coming very, very close. Sarajevo is no problem. I will be there in December for the last time before the games. And uh, in Los Angeles, uh, we know very well this young, efficient organizing committee and the president, uh, Peter Juberot, and the chairman, Mr. Sifren. And uh, we are very confident on them. And I think and I hope that they can organize one of the best games in our Olympic history. The president of the International Olympic Committee, Juan Antonio Samaranch of Spain. After three rotations here at the Palace of Sports, Gushkin of Japan has moved into a tie with China's Tong Fei. Makuts of the Soviet Union has dropped to third. Kurt, as we get ready for the fourth rotation, and here is Gushkin. Koji uses a layout Tsukahara with a full twist. Gets it, ooh, a little bit under-rotated there. Didn't quite get enough push off the horse. Let's take another look at it, though. Let's see if he really got that push in the near end. It's a good, strong run. He had super form in the air, but he just didn't get enough push for the rotation. Locks off the board. There, you really need a strong push for this vault and he didn't get it. Caused him about a five-tenth deduction. That must be an awful empty feeling when you go to your knees. It really is. Well, let's see what his score is. There it is, a 9.30 for Gushkin of Japan. Next up, the man that dropped to third. Let's see what he can do in the parallel bars. He is the current European champion in this event, Kurt. He mounts with a peach to a handstand, a lock arm peach to a handstand. Right after that, he does a stutz to a handstand. Front uprise, front toss. And you know, Bogdan is not a very exciting performer. He has full difficulty, but he's not real exciting. He's always comes through in the clutch. He's a very consistent performer, but he's not quite like the other performers. There's a stutz to a handstand, and now he's dismount. Pike double back. Fine routine. Should score well. Second in the all around at the last Olympic Games in Moscow. We'll be back with his score in a moment as we look at the Piazza Venezia, which includes a marble and gold monument to Italy's first king, Victor Emmanuel. Five on the parallel R's. Tong Fei of China needs a 9.55 to take the lead, Kurt. And I think he can do it here because he has a very original routine. He mounts with a glide, reverse straddle right up to a handstand. Now he does a stutz or a half turn to a handstand. Here's the original parts I was talking about. Back up rise, heck vault, immediate kato hop, immediate cuts, dip swing handstand, and a heely twirl. Very nice. And that's what I mean by exciting performances. Mm -hmm. There's his press to a handstand. Now all he has left is his dismount. There's another stutz to a handstand and a very high double back somersault. Look at him fight for that landing. And listen to this crowd. 
Kung Fei, 21 years old, 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighs 134 pounds. Almost the ideal physique for gymnastics, Kurt. He really is, and he's super strong. Here's a slow motion look at some of those original parts I was talking about. Here's his cast, back up rise, now a heck vault, brings his legs all the way over the bar, immediate kato hop, swinging under the bar, dip swing to a handstand, and now he'll fall out of the handstand, a heely twirl, very well executed parts. And he needed a 9.55 to take the lead, more than enough, 9.75. Hong Fei, the People's Republic of China, is the leader here in the fourth rotation. Next up in the vault, Roland Bruckner of East Germany. Needs a 9.85 to take over second. He's a good vaulter. He uses a handspring front with a half twist in a tuck position. Needs a really good vault to hit a 9.85, though. There it is. Nice. Oh, beautiful landing. Roland Bruckner. Listen to this crowd, a massive gymnast at 5 feet 8 inches tall and 145 pounds. Kurt. Oh, that was a great vault. Let's take another look at it. In slow motion, you can really see where he pushes his good form in the air. And it's very well executed vault. Now watch his legs. Nice form, pushes off the horse, gets the half turn, and really nails the landing. A 9.75 for Bruckner of East Germany, moving him into third ahead of Gushkin. Now the standings after four. Tong Fei of China is the leader. Makuts of the Soviet Union is second. We'll return with the conclusion of the gymnastics in a little while. But now let's rejoin Bill Fleming, Jackie Stewart, and Chris Economaki for the Southern 500 Stock Car Race. At Ford Motor Company, the Palace of Sports in Rome, Italy, we've returned for more of the International Gymnastics Championships. Top gymnasts from nine countries around the world competing here for all-around honors. Women's competition, more of it coming up. I'm Chris Schenkel along with Kurt Thomas and Kathy Rigby. And one of the big developments here in Rome is the fact that the Olympic gold medal winner, Elena Davidova of the Soviet Union, is out of the all-around competition, Kathy. Puts a whole new light on the rest of the field. Well, the whole competition so far has been just crazy. After each rotation, the standings change so drastically. The Chinese gymnast Chen is looking extremely good at this point, so we'll have to watch her on her ne next event and see how she goes to the end. That's right, Kathy, and let's look at this 19-year-old as we flash back to her performance on the uneven bars. And she started out with a glide tip right into a clear of pants and kept the high bar. She moved so smoothly on this event. Each move is completely stretched. She does an unusual move in the middle of her routine. There's a clear hip circle to a handstand, two in a row. Now watch this, it's called a Christ carry. Makes a half twist, then another half twist. Very original, right into a double leg shoot through. She keeps moving. No form breaks whatsoever. Her toe on here. Coleman each dismount. Excellent routine, no big breaks in that at all. And that display of confidence gained her a 9.8. From East Germany, Annette Lindner is doing really well as we look back at her beam performance. A real comer for East Germany. She had no major breaks in this. Slight deduction for lack of finesse, but a solid, steady routine. Good enough for a 9.7, but from Bulgaria, Zoya Grancharova is having some problems. She had a big problem on this event, and it's unfortunate this girl can really be a world beater in the all-around. Here she does a handstand, change grip, right into a front somi, just didn't pull it around hard enough, didn't seem to have enough strength. She continued the routine beautifully, has lots of difficulty and, and originality, just what the judges are looking for. She can clean that up by 84. She's going to be hard to beat. Right into a handstand, stalls her there, balls over the bar to an eagle grip, each move is difficult, one after the other. She skips to her dismount, which is a layout with a full twist, solid landing, too. And despite this 16-year-old's 9.3, she still could be in contention. And now back to the competition in this rotation as Eva Marichkova is on the balance beam. This has been a very good competition so far for Marichkova. She has had no big break, breaks in the competition. And this year, in the past six months, she has improved a great deal, and she's lost some extra weight that she was holding before. Two back handsprings into a layout. Very well done. Difficult move to stay straight. Third of her four events here in Rome. Her form is beautiful so far. Mm -hmm. Toes pointed every time they come off that balance beam, which is very good for the judges. Now 
Bob is going to do an aerial walkover and then right into an aerial cartwheel. Slight bobble there, nothing big though. Aerial cartwheel. So far, so good. No big breaks at all. She stretches every move. Concentration is good. Can't stand half turn, step out. Her dance is done very well, too. You see, she's going to line up her shoulders, her hips, and her feet all have to be right in line. That hamstring half to a step out. Light bobble there, not bad. Another slight bobble. The judges won't take off very much for those. Maybe a half a tenth. And her dismount. She'll do a cartwheel, a round off, double twist, light break on that ending. Looks like she didn't get enough rotation there. Lovely performance. Five feet tall, weighs 90 pounds. 12th at the Olympic Games in Moscow and certainly improving, Kathy. She certainly is. The most difficult part of her balancing routine were these two back handsprings into a lap. She has to line up her shoulders, hips, and legs. She does it very well, and she's right on in that layout position. Good form throughout the layout, too. On her dismount, she had a little problem. She had lack of height and rotation here. She completes the twist well, but just not enough time to get all the way around. And for Marichkova, a 9.7 on the balance beam. Stepping out proudly now from East Germany, tiny Annette Lindner. Her fourth and final exercise of this competition, Kathy. Like Marichkova, Linder also has been very consistent throughout the meet. She opens her routine with a double pike. Very flashy dance movements first. We'll go all the way to the corner so that she has enough room to run into this double pike. Beautifully done. Her routine is clean. Her dance movements are done well. And she needs a little more maturity in her dance and a little more expression. And this hopefully she'll have by 1984. Those are called butterflies. And her second tumbling run. Now watch this. It's a very unusual move. It's a two and a half twisting layout. Just again all the way in that corner to get enough run. Whoops, a little problem there. Didn't get quite enough rotation. This gymnast does not stop moving throughout her routine. Great energy. Full twisting dive roll. And a round off. And her last tumbling run is a double twist. Let's see if she can get enough height on this. Double twist, a little low with the shoulders, but not bad. She never stops moving. Fine routine. Miss Perpetual Motion here in Rome, Italy, Annette Linder of East Germany. Let's take another look at her second tumbling run, the two and a half twist. She's got good run here, got a good run there. Round off, back handspring, real good height, started her twist well, just slightly let her feet in front of her a little bit. And for this 18-year-old, it's a 9.6. And that is finished with a total of 38.30. And that's the score to beat when we come back for more women's competition and later the men. Slovakia has pressure mounts here in the finals of the women's competition. But later, after her four events, Annette Lindner of East Germany, 38.3. Marichkova needs a 9.5 to take the lead from Lindner. She must be very excited at this point. I don't think she expected to be in this position going into her last event. She opens with a double pike right on. She has been competing for a long time, a real veteran to international competition. And this is the first big competition that she has placed as well. Once again, as on the balance beam, every dance move is stretched fully. in a layout position right into a dive roll. Almost to the end of that line there. Almost out. There's a lot of originality in her, in her routine. She's no one's in this 
dance anymore dominates the world scene as they did in the past. I'm going with her last tumbling run now. She'll need lots of endurance. Round off flip-flop. Double twist, not quite all the way around. Little deduction there. Rizkova, 18 years old from Czechoslovakia, completing her fourth and final event, the floor exercise, needing a 9.5 to take the lead from Annette Lindner of East Germany. Even though she's tired, Chris, I'm sure she's so excited right now. Fine routine on all four events. She was very consistent throughout the meet. Do you suppose this future gymnast knows the importance of the score we're awaiting here in Rome, Italy? It's coming up, needing a 9.5 to take the lead, and she gets it a 9.6. Marichkova of Czechoslovakia, our new leader in the women's competition. Now, Chen Yongyang of China needs a 9.35 to overtake Marichkova. This is a weak event for Chen. She has beautiful dance and graceful arms, but she does lack in originality in her dance and difficulty on her tumbling. She opens with a double twist. Watch how graceful and flexible her arm and upper body are. There's a double twist. Very clean. The style in gymnastics seems to be bouncing around a lot, doing many leaps and jumps. She's very graceful and unusual. That was an Arabian. There's where some of the difficulty is lacking. That's a pretty soft move. And even though she has done the move very well, you cannot get away with this, that lack of difficulty. You have to have it, especially at this level. Here we see a change of pace in the routine, one of the requirements. Round off, side aerial. She's very high, but once again, if you don't have something new in your routine, something exciting, you cannot compete with the others at this international level. On the other hand, I wish that some of the gymnasts would get some of the beauty in their arms and in their routine as Chen has here. In her last tumbling run, double twist, round off flip flop, big break there, five tenths of point deduction on that move, and lack of difficulty, she's going to have a low score. And this 19-year-old now can only wait for the score, needing a 9.35 to take the lead in the women's competition here in Rome. She looks as if she lacked a little endurance here, a little strength to complete that double twist. You really have to jam those legs down hard, get into that back hamstring fast, twist fast, and she just didn't have enough rotation to get all the way around to complete that twist. And there's a disappointing score for the young lady from the People's Republic of China, 8.95. Three excellent performances, three of the four events, and then this, taking her out of the possibility of winning a medal in the women's competition. And now finally, Zoya Gracharov of Bulgaria, 16 years old, and we talked about pressure. Kathy, there's plenty here. She needs a 9.95 to tie for first place, a 9.8 to tie for second. And those marks are well within her capability. Watch this opening tumbling run. Full in, double back, right on. Beautifully done. The most difficulty in the competition. She was the bronze medalist at the World Championship. Her second tumbling run is a triple twist. The entire routine is choreographed so well. Here comes that triple twist. See if she can make it all the way around, three times around. Very nice. Each move is so clean. Go twisting back hands free. This routine takes a great deal of endurance. Each move is stretched so fully. She jumps a lot, turns a lot. body waves there. One on back handspring to a straddle jump. And the last tumbling run, a double back. Let's see if she has endurance for this. Run up flip flop. Double back in the tuck position right on there too. Zoya 
Gracharova, Bulgaria. A fine performance, and the crowd loves it. President Samaranch of the International Olympic Committee is awaiting her score, as is Ava Marichkova, the current leader. 9.8 for Grantcharova, Bulgaria. Not good enough for victory, but a tie for second with Annette Linder of East Germany. And finishing fourth, Grigoris of Romania, fifth, Chen Yong Yang of China. We'll be back in a moment with the conclusion of the men's competition. <laughs> the leader, Makuts of the Soviet Union, second, Bruckner of East Germany, third, Gushkin of Japan, fourth. And here now, the exciting Tong Pei of China floor exercise, Kurt. And he really is exciting. Watch his mount. He does a round off back handspring, double side somersault, and kicks out of it. Beautifully done. This guy is super on the floor exercise. A lot of punch, a lot of strength in his leg. There's a front step out through to a double twist. Now watch how smooth he is. He'll move right into a full twisting butterfly. Oh, that's beautiful. And now he's pressed to a handstand. Tung Fei is one of the real up-and-coming Chinese gymnasts. Must hold that for two seconds. And a little short there. Right now, all he's thinking is get through this routine and I can win it. Punch front one and a quarter out of a back. Now he'll prepare for his final tumbling run. Here's a scale showing balance. And he dismounts, I believe, with a tuck double back somersault, one of the highest in the world. Round off, back handspring, double back, kicks out, beautiful routine, Tung Fei. Let's hear this crowd in Rome. Incredible performance by the 21-year-old gymnast in the People's Republic of China. And we'll be seeing more of him as we move toward 1984. Well, here's another look at his double back for his dismount. Really takes it up nice and high now. He kicks out right there. Beautiful landing. Tang Fei of the People's Republic of China. And there's his score of 9.9. .9. Certainly Kurt Quincy. First place here in the International Gymnastics Championships. And could this be the beginning of a gymnastics confrontation between China and the Soviet Union? I think it's going to be. Look at him. He's excited about that. And next up from the Soviet Union, Bogdan Makuts. Needs a good score to stay in second place. Well, he's really got his work cut out for him. But this is a good event for Bogdan. He mounts with a full end back out. Not quite as high as Tung Fei. He's just got to stay real clean here. Now here's his press to a handstand. Now his second tumbling run. Just a tuck front. Dive roll, turns into the corner. Now watch this, his third tumbling runs, round off, one and a half twist, step out, handspring full twist. Very nice twisting combination right there. Showing a little flexibility, resting, working some corner transition. Now here's his scale. A little shaky there. <laughs> There's the bell, he's got 20 seconds now. And he dismounts with a double tuck somersault. Round off, back handspring, tuck double, little step. But that should give him the score that he needs just to stay in second place. And again, the crowd still up and applauding for these gymnasts from nine countries. Some of the best in the world here in the International Gymnastics Championships. Bogdan Makuts of the Soviet Union. Gushkin of Japan at the high bar. Makuts on the floor exercise, 9.65, virtually clinching second place. Now, Gushkin needs a 9.8 to tie Bruckner for third. Bruckner is already finished. Well, the Japanese have always been very strong on the horizontal bar. There's a one-arm giant. Now he'll work right into a stalder, and here comes his release move to reverse heck over the bar. Nice catch. Kip. Now here comes his inverted giants. These are a requirement on horizontal bar. There's two inverted giants over the bar. There's a hop pirouette. And his dismount is a double layout somersault. Two somersaults in a straight body position. Very nice routine for Koji. Gushkin of Japan needing a 9.85 to finish third or a 9.8 to tie for third. 
Well, here's another look at the beginning of his routine. There's his one-arm giant, and now he'll set a nice reverse hecked up by doing a stalder, a front stalder into a handstand. And now his reverse hecked, very clean over the bar to a nice recatch. Now the score of 9.8 for Gushkin of Japan, tying Bruckner of East Germany for third. Friendly competition here in Rome, Kurt. Well, there's Makut congratulating Tong Fan on his victory. Men's competition has ended. I'm swimming high.